This is Flip Taco here in a Taco Approved, bringing you another video review on Battlefield Bad Company. Tomorrow, no tomorrow, and I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. Hey, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Sorry. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. What does that mean? What does it mean? Yeah, well, it's a dream. It's How it... about this song? Mama's little baby love shortening, shortening. Mama's little, little baby, baby love shortening, shortening bread. bread. Now, the now the unique thing about this game from any, from the other Battlefield games is there's actually a pretty good, you know, actual storyline to this game to play. There's a campaign. Now, you play as Preston Marlowe. You're part of a four-man squad in Bad Company, a company where they put all the misfits and the troublemakers all in and do all the dirtiest work, and basically they're cannon fodder. Now, one day you find out that the uh, mercenary groups is w also in the battlefield that might have a huge pot of gold. So, not only are you chased down b fighting against the Russians, but you're basically on your own against the mercenary group who's hunting you down while you chase for their gold. So, overall, single-player... It's it's fun and humorous, you know. Like you you and your squad, you know, says some hilarious things and some definite references that you'll definitely pick up. Um, you know, there's definitely a good variety of maps to play in. You know, forest, urban areas, to even des a desert. Um, well, a desertification area that it used to be. Um, overall, there's the storyline at the. It, it's definitely a good storyline to play, but it's the difficulty curve is way too easy because not only do you have like an auto injector to automatically heal. But you also have, when you die, there's no like that's it. You got to start over again. You got you have um, you basically respawn on the battlefield, but like a uh, you know a multiplayer version of battlefield. So as okay, as for gameplay wise, the game from a first person shooter standpoint is definite fun. Now there is a multiplayer mode that goes up to 24 players, I believe, and there are two game modes to play. One was right out of the box called Gold Rush. It is basically an attack and defense scenario where one pl one team defends some gold crates while the other team tries to attack and destroy them. Now, Conquest Mode sadly was not included at launch of this title, and to me personally, it was a bad move on DICE and EA because seriously, that's what the Battlefield series has been known for for as their like game mode, Conquest. Now, it, Conquest Mode is featured as a downloadable content and. Well, it is featured as a patch with uh, on the PlayStation 3 version and as a downloadable content for the Xbox 360. Now, the uh, the maps that are the, that are available, including the downloadable content ones, are definite fun. You know, there's not much so on as a map remake as some might hope, but it's definite. But the maps they use, they some of it's been reworked from the single player, and it definitely is some good fun. You know, they made it they made sure it's balanced, good old fun gameplay. Now, um, overall, like, the weapons you use and the vehicles and the helicopters is still crazy good fun, and it definitely lives up to the Battlefield name on that part. There is a class-based system, but not... But, in a sense, there is also a, um, a lockable rank system, too. You, This is one of the things I like about it that they, uh, they're starting to do with. Every time you rank up, you have the ability to unlock a new weapon, and you can rank up up to 25, I believe, which is a 5-star general, which, by then, you should have all the unlocks, and... It's definitely good fun while you have all the unlocks at your disposal, so you get to choose which weapon you want to bring in the battlefield. Now, overall, the vehicle controls and all that stuff are pretty good, too. While the helicopter does take some time getting used to, you'll definitely be flying around like a Top Gun ace in no time. Now, as f now the other good thing I must note about this game is you can blow stuff up literally. In both campaign and multiplayer, buildings pff, blow them away. Vehicles and, no, and fences and trees, ha! Oh, tear, tear them all down. Now, they, now they they are basically marking this game as blow stuff up. First-person shooter, have fun doing it. But you cannot blow stuff up completely 
as some might think. The building supports will still stand, but you can definitely blow up the walls and all that good stuff. So, about let's say not ninety percent of it is destructible. So, go out there and have some fun blowing stuff up. As for the graphics-wise, the game does look good. Now, there are some graphical differences between the PlayStation 3 version and the Xbox 360, but they both look good. The Xbox 360 might look a bit, look a bit more colorful, but the PlayStation 3 version, to me, personally, looks a bit more crisp and fine-tuned and all that good stuff. Sound-wise, sound is, uh, well, strong in the game, amazingly. They got a pretty good soundtrack going for this, actually. I really like it a lot, so... Uh, voice acting is solid, humorous. And the explosions and weapon sounds are pretty good, you know? Like, Battlefield game, you can't have... <laughs> you gotta have good sound with it, you know? Overall, I... Overall, the game is pretty good, you know? I, I really like it a lot, but one of the major downsides is that the game is running on EA servers, and they're not as reliable as they should be. There are some definite lag moments, and there are some uh, server disconnections and dropouts, too, so... That's one of the things that's been annoying me with the whole EA, we're all you're, we're hosting on the EA server. So it's basically if you find a good like free server that doesn't drop, you're basically in like a godsend area. Other than that, they, um, there are some minor bugs, some minor glitches, but nothing nothing too big to worry about. Overall, I have to give Battlefield Bad Company a solid B. While while the multiplayer is definitely one of the highlights, the single player mode is definitely welcome, but with the uh, auto respawn, it definitely curbs the difficulty. But it is humorous at the same time. Also, featuring with the new unlockable weapons, the ranking system, and all that good stuff for multiplayer, it's definitely a game to play with good replay value. But the EA servers and their disconnections and lag issues does hamper it a, a some of it. So, this is. Uh, so yeah, my final word is, my final conclusion is a B for Battlefield Bad Company. This is Flip Taco here on Otaku Approved, signing out. And gamers out there, are you looking for more video game reviews or other video game content? Well head over down to asiasplayhouse.com or check out her YouTube page at the link below or provided in the description box. She's a hot gamer girl who knows her gaming. I know what I'm doing. This is a shortcut. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. If I had a penny for every time you said that, I wouldn't be needing this gold.